Hello everyone and welcome to the Easton Homestead channel here on YouTube. Today we are out by our utility building where we have our power and water systems and uh, we're in the middle of a little bit of a project. We're adding a third 1500 gallon cistern to our system here up at camp. Um, so I figured while we have everything unearthed, I would show you kind of how this works uh, and then how we clean the tanks and things like that. So check it out. This is the back half of our utility building and this is where the two cisterns that already are in place are. We have a cover. They both kind of look the same here. We have a foam cover just to kind of keep some of the warmth in so we don't have any freezing problems, which we don't now. Um, and we're nice and enclosed, but this building is not heated. So we have to keep some of that ground heat in. This is an inlet to one of our tanks should we need to fill it up externally with city water. But for the most part, we have a pump in a well that does all of the production that we need. So I'm going to open this up and we'll show you what's inside. Now that we have the access hatch open to our first cistern here, I will show you inside a little bit. We have two of these currently and each one holds 1500 gallons and we're adding another 1500 gallon cistern so we will have 4500 gallons for camp when we're done. That is where the well pumps the water into our cisterns after it's been filtered and chlorinated. You can see a red residue down there. The red residue is because here at camp we have iron heavy water and so that's that redness you see is iron in the water. So we have two of these cisterns and like I said we're adding a third one. So now we're going to go down below and outside and I'll show you the new access that we're building to the third cistern that we will install here shortly. Alright, now we're on the outside of the building that we were just inside of and we're down. We dug a big hole, as you can see here. This is about a six foot hole to get under the building where our cisterns are located. And these are the bottom of the two cisterns. This is the upper cistern, the one I just showed you, which will feed into the second cistern. The second cistern will feed into the third one that will go right here where we're standing. So part of this project was to tunnel all of this out, which was quite a project. So once we have these two tied in and reburied, we will add a third cistern right here. And that will increase our capacity by another third. Now you may ask, how do you get water to camp and especially to your cabin when you have the cisterns empty for cleaning and putting in a third cistern? Well, for this one time we had to get some city water and you can see here that we filled a thousand gallon tank right here and we have it pumped in to our usual pump house and then from there it can feed the camp and we don't have any campers at camp right now so it's just Mrs. Easton and I and the dogs. We don't use all that much water so this thousand gallons would last us a good long time. Uh, it does make a difference on our pressure because we don't have anything going through a pressure pump when we use this particular system but it gives us water for the few days that we need it while we work on the system. 
This has been Mr. Easton from the Easton Homestead Channel. I hope you enjoyed a quick look at our cistern system here that feeds water into the camp. I will show you the rest of the system with the power pump and everything at a later date. Thank you for joining us. Please share, like, and subscribe, and we will talk to you later.